Uh, Trails West, we of course appreciate the necessity of having a, a very fine automotive type finish on our products. And, and because of what we've gone through in the last 20 some years, we consider ourselves expert in this area. After the trailer leaves the, the weld shop, then it rolls into the prep department. In the prep department, the trailer is hand sanded, it's chipped, it's gone over to make sure that there's no imperfections on the surface. That process is one stage. After that stage of the process, then the trailer rolls into the wash bay. In the wash bay, there's, there's three different processes, not counting the rinse. The first process is it's washed with a product called Power Lift. The Power Lift uh, product, it's kind of an oil and grease and soil emulsifier. It's a foaming process that we use. The foam actually goes into every little square inch, every little nook and cranny on that trailer. It gets in there and gets all the dirt out. Uh, paint won't stick to a trailer that has dirt on it. After that process is finished, we immediately go over it with another Dubois product called Secure Steam. Secure Steam is, is a f iron phosphate product. It, it's an acid etch. Uh, it's an organic type product, though, so it's user friendly, it's or, uh, environmentally friendly. It not only continues to clean the surface, but it goes in and actually makes a conversion coating, which a conversion coating is kind of a transformation of the molecules uh, to a non-metallic finish, which does two things. One, it helps the primer stick to the, to the surface, uh, but it also helps to resist corrosion. A after we do that, we have a product called Spectralink, which is a, a polymer product that uh, we spray onto the surface, is not rinsed off, and instead of just making the surface larger, it actually bonds the molecules of the surface of the Specialite trailer to the primer molecules. So it actually bonds them together, they become one. Trails West Manufacturing has teamed up with world-renowned DuPont Industrial Coating Solutions for all our finishing products. So the first thing that happens to a Specialite trailer after it's gone through the wash process is to be coated with 1 to 1.2 mils of epoxy primer. The aluminum surfaces love epoxy products. So we feel good about using this product with an aluminum trailer because of the way it sticks. When we're at home and we want a glue that sticks together, we go to epoxy because we know it sticks. That's basically what's happening on the finish of our trailer. After the prime process, uh, Specialite trailers are seam sealed in various locations. Sometimes this has to do with aesthetics. Sometimes it has to do with moisture barrier. But we use acrylic seam sealers in any place that we feel it is necessary. Then the trailers are top coated with DuPont Imron. DuPont Imron is world renowned as being the most top quality finish that is available. It's a polyurethane top coat, it's low VOC, so it's environmentally friendly. It's the premium product that a person can use in this industry. We put two to 2.2 mils of top coat. So now we're getting up into the three, three and a half mils versus about a half a mil of what's on a coil coat uh, trailer. So after we complete the paint process, the trailer is then cured for approximately one hour at 145 degrees. Then the trailer moves into the finish department and that's where it is completed. You have just taken an in-depth look on the construction and the paint process of the all-new Trails West Special Light trailer. One thing I want to talk about is the fit and function of a Trails West trailer. Trails West is one of the few manufacturers that construct their own doors. Trails West actually designs the door for the trailer. The two meet, the two match. Most of our competitors will buy a door from an outside source and it could be a door that they're selling to this manufacturer, this manufacturer, and this manufacturer. Those manufacturers have to make that door work for their trailer. Where we design the the door as part of our trailer. And so we get a much cleaner fit and finish 
with, with, uh, with our doors. As you can see, we construct it out of, uh, in a pan style so we're smooth on the inside and the outside of the trailer. We use an automobile latch that is consistent with the, the automobile industry. Basically it's just a rotary latch and uh, the shut of it is unparalleled. You won't get that with any other manufacturer out there, that nice solid shut. Well, Trails West is owned and managed by horsemen. Most of the management team and the owners own horses, and so just through time of using our horses, going to and from different events, we've learned what's, what's convenient and what's not convenient about trailers. One thing that we figured out was it's a lot easier to saddle your horse when you don't have to go in and out of the tack room. So we've designed the Swing Out Saddle Rack. It is un unlike anybody else's Swing Out Saddle Rack because our Swing Out Saddle Rack functions without pins. It will come in and out of the trailer without having to operate a pin to get it open. So you can access your tack easily from the outside of the trailer. Uh, blanket pads are the same way. We've got this eight place blanket rack that will swing out as well so you can easily access your blanket pads from the ground. As I mentioned with the tack door, Trails West builds their own doors. The feed door is no exception. We do construct this out of lightweight aluminum and it's in a pan style so it's smooth on the inside smooth on the outside to keep it smooth and safe for your horses we also have designed this grill that will come out of the out of the tracks if you need to open it up to feed your horses also if you notice the latch is down low where you unlatch it and plus you're in a position where you can catch the door and the hinge that we use on our on our feed doors and our manger do doors are stainless steel hinges the Trails West divider is one of the most functional dividers in the industry. We pride ourselves on how, how the divider fits and functions. One thing I like to point out is it's once again used with a rotary latch, similar to the style of the tack doors and the feed doors that I showed you earlier. It does have the rotary latch that latches around the post that's in the wall. One great selling point about this system when it comes to the divider, when the dividers are open like this, there's a weight down here at the end of the divider that the hinges have to hold. And most of our competitors are that way, whether it's open or shut. When a Trails West divider shuts around the post in the wall, it, this, this rotary latch has now latched around the post in the wall, and now the weight of this divider is being supported by this post that's in the wall opposed to the hinges, which is going to get you a lot longer life out of the hinges and the use of your divider. Another nice point about this divider is the shut. It's a nice solid shut. No rattle once it's into the pocket. One thing that you've learned uh, with the new Specialite trailer, all the exterior sheets are aluminum. One big concern with most customers when purchasing an aluminum trailer is how do I take care of it? Uh, most aluminum trailers, you've got to take it to a, a horse trailer dealer, to, to a semi type shop to get it cleaned because aluminum does oxidize. If the aluminum is not painted, it'll oxidize, and the only way to clean the trailer is to run it through an acid wash. Most people do not have the capabilities to be able to acid wash a trailer. With the Trails West finish, it's no different than your tow vehicle. It's just simply use, a, use soap and water, and it's clean. If you really want to maintain this trailer for a long time, it's a big job, but you can do it. If you wax this trailer faithfully once a year, you would, you would maintain the look and the gloss of this trailer for a good 10 years because of the quality of the paint finish on this trailer. By using an aluminum exterior on the whole exterior of the trailer, by using aluminum on our doors, we have gained a net weight savings of 10%. If we take the exact trailer in steel, as we do in the Specialite and weight them side by side, we, we see a 10% weight savings from trailer to trailer.